time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. Uh, we're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our lives, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank. Hey! What's up, everyone? Welcome to Monday, September 25th, Power Hour Live been a nice little quiet day since uh, about a little after 10 a.m. Central. I've got a quiet lunch that I took half off of. Looking to close the remaining half at 80% of max. Also got my morning iron condor, took off half at 50% looking to close the remaining half at 80%. So if we could just do a little bounce down, bounce up gyration here, hit both of them, that'd be nice. That would be ideal. So I'm going to buy some longs here for power hour. And it looks like we're going to get a little five-point strangle for tranche number one. VIX was above 18, currently at 17.20. Pretty much unchanged on the day at this point. After being up nearly 6% this morning. PT, is that your first time seeing the intro? Oh, very nice. Get you ready. It just gets you ready for power hour. May have a 10 point wide strangle. We go down a little bit. Give it a couple minutes. We stay here, we'll get five point wide. If we go down a little bit before our entry, we will get a 10 wide. I can't take any credit for the visuals or the vocals. I only can take credit for the lyrics, the written, not the performed. <laughs> All right, another minute here. So it's looking like five wide. Well, now we may get it's looking like the 4335s on the call now, maybe. No, nope. it's coming down to the wire. All right, five wide. Tranche one, five wide. Nice, juicy, 
nine dollars and five cents. Filled at nine ten. Is either going to be a low premium ten wide or a big juicy five wide? To get in right now, looks like you could go ten wide. But I'm on the 30s and 25s. I'm also entering a 2 3. DTE double calendar. Sure, I'm not overlapping any strikes. All right. Trying to get filled at 865. Filled. I right, just posted that in the calendar channel. Got a little overlap on strikes on my morning session and the power hour. So I'm just combining these here. As far as the risk profile graph goes. So 80% on my morning one is at 410 is what I'm looking for. It's currently trading at 715.
All right. So what you see on my screen, that's actually my power hour plus my remaining quiet lunch plus my remaining morning session. A little overlap and strike. So just going to put them all on the board. So morning session, I'm looking for four ten and four bucks on the quiet lunch. I'm looking for two seventy to get out of my remaining. It's currently trading at seven fifty. All right, morning session trading down to 5.30. Got to get down towards four bucks to get that one out. Cooked a little salmon on my Blackstone for lunch. It's pretty good, but I think I overcooked it a little bit. Just a hair. Went a little wild on the Blackstone this weekend. I got, I have one at the office here. I just got one for my house. This weekend I cooked some uh, bacon, egg, and cheeseburgers. Cooked uh, some French toast yesterday morning. Loving, loving it. Loving the Blackstone. Yeah, French toast is great on the Blackstone. It's a flat top. It's like a hibachi style. And price is coming down, which is good for the old morning session. About 60 cents away from closing that one out at 80%. And we needed to bounce back up. Meanwhile, tranche one's trading at almost 12 bucks and stops at 13. So getting a little too close. Let me just stay here for a minute. Or 10. Yeah, the bacon egg, 
the bacon, egg, and cheeseburgers. That, that was a winner. Do the bacon, the eggs, and the burgers all at the same time, and then just throw them together. Worked out great. My brother and his family were in town Friday night, so that's what that's what we did the Friday. As far as our time flies go, we had one that was kind of in, in adjustment territory, but it's come back in now, so we won't do anything on that one yet. The other one that we put on last week that had the, where we entered both the calendar and the fly at the same time, looks like it's up a couple hundred. Not ready to take off yet. I also did a zero DTE duck today. I got out of half of that at 20%. The remaining half looks like it'll hit that beak profit. Unless we have a big down move, of course. And closed out part of my morning session at 80%. That actually went in at two different orders. So my other one's, at, that was at 410. This one's at $4 for the remaining piece to hit 80%. Uh, Mirage, with my duck, I do not adjust the stop until I get to 70%. So at 20%, I close half, and then at, oh, no, I'm sorry. At 50%, I set my stop loss to 70%. Sorry, I had to go back and look at the back test to refresh. All right, so tranche one stops at 1310, currently trading at 1170. Going to need a bounce here. Need a bounce for our quiet lunch as well. All right, I filled on the rest at 80% on my morning session. So nice, nice winner there. Oh, you know what? I just realized something. In my quiet lunch, I did not reduce my stop when it hit. So that one needs to come off. I hate it when I do that. So let's see, I got out of that one at, I 
820. Yeah, darn it. All right, I gotta get out of that one then. Misplayed that. All right, filled at 16.05 on my second half of my quiet lunch. So I still made a little bit of money on that one. All right, so tranche one, still trading at 11.20, stops at 13.10. Definitely need a bounce here. It's almost time for tranche two. Buy some longs. And for tranche two, looks like the 25, 10, 15 wide. Wow. How about that? Give it another couple minutes here. And Neil, first time using the order templates. Nice. Looking like the twenty five tens. Give it another minute. Yeah, Murph Dog, the templates will definitely reduce mistakes too. They're just they're quick, easy. You got your stops in as soon as your entries filled. Uh, are you using the trailing stop, Anil? I'm using a fixed. All right, 25 tens for tranche two. We get filled at five twenty five. Filled at five twenty five for tranche two. Forty three twenty five calls, forty three ten puts. Ah, uh, did you hear it? MRP, darn it. Yeah, they're doing some remodeling, basically redoing all the cement patios in the building. So some drilling hopefully it's not too loud to you guys Mm 
All right, so we got a little drunken, drunken strangle with the combined tranche one and two. Tranche one, I got in at nine ten. So I'm looking for five forty five to reduce my stop. Tranche two, I got in at 525. So I'm looking for 315. Getting a little bounce. Good for tranche one. Tranche one trading down to 750. I'm looking for 540. Whoa, bounce is getting a little aggressive. And what was that? Oh, yeah, stopped out of tranche two. Wow. Too big of a bounce for tranche two. Tranche one is dead centered. Tranche two, I got stopped out at eight, some at eight thirty five, some at eight forty. Yeah, tranche two is a three dollar stop for me. Yeah, that was a quickie. As soon as we entered, it just fired up. By the way, if you notice this uh, little dip in the implied volatility indicator, for those of you who have this on toss, that's that's not real. That was, I assume that has something to do with the uh, little SIBO snafu on Friday.
Well, now I wish I wouldn't have noticed my uh, error on my quiet lunch. But what you going to do? A few minutes until tranche three. Good news is I get to use my uh, recycle some longs. Looks like we may get another 15 wide. Few minutes until tranche three. Right now, it looks like the thirty-five twenties. Yeah, it looks like the 3520s if it holds here. be the 3020s. It's right in between on the call side. All right, I'm going to go 30 20s. I'm going to get filled at 525. Filled at 525. If you waited a minute, you may be getting in the 35s on the call side. 35 20s.
All right, right between 20 and 30 will work. If we could just stay and chop around between 20s and 30s for the next 30 minutes. VXX has popped up a little bit since we put that uh, vertical on, but started off higher, came down a little bit today. So tranche one is currently trading at 670. I need it down to 545 to reduce my stop. Sorry guys, just staying a little quiet. I'm going on mute a little bit here because the drilling's so loud. Still nice and centered. 30 minutes till the bell. Tranche one trading at 640, 630, 625. I'm looking for 545 to reduce my stop.
for tranche one, I reduce it from four down to three. So if price gets down to five forty five, I would reduce my stop to three dollars over that price, which would be eight forty five. Hasn't hit yet. It's currently trading at about five eighty. Yep, once it reaches 40% of max profit, exactly. Five sixty, five fifty, five fifty, five forty five. All right, reducing stop to eight forty five. I just reduced my stop on tranche one and two. Not fixed yet, Boomer. They told me that they would be sending out a flashing notification in the upper right-hand corner of TOS whenever it's fixed. Uh, I tried again last night. I haven't, I haven't looked again today, but I tried again last night and it wasn't. Yeah, it's kind of a disaster. It's going to be a uh, lot of fun trying to update my trader sync. I did go through last night, spent about three hours and just kind of separated out the trades on a spreadsheet. So it'll make it a little bit easier, but it's going to be a little bit of a pain. And the longer that they take, the bigger the pain it's going to be.
So Trunch 2 is the one I got stopped out of Mirage. I got in at 525 out at 835 and 840. Still in Trunch 1 and 3. Twenty two minutes until the bell. Right, SPX trying to pop its little head up again. Well, the Chiefs side covered Vegas, Michelle. <laughs> I can't. I can't speak for the Cowboys. How about the Dolphins dropping a seventy handle? Holy moly! So I live in Kansas City, Missouri, which gambling is still not legal in Missouri, but it is on the Kansas side. So I can load my, I can fund my DraftKings account. And as long as I drive over the border in Kansas, I can, I can make the bets. I haven't funded my account yet. Last year, what I would do is every Friday, I would drive home and I would just take the long way home, go through Kansas, park for a minute, place my bets. Felt like a real, real degen.
I'll probably fund my account this week. I like to let the first couple weeks go by, get a better feel. Ah, there's an idea. I need to get with one of my Kansas buddies. Let him re let me remote into one of his computers. Yeah, we got we got marijuana legalized in Missouri and gambling didn't pass. In Kansas, marijuana wouldn't pass, but gambling passed. So go figure. So the Kansas people have to come over here to get weed and we got to go to Kansas to gamble. All right, we're chopping. 15, 14 minutes to the bell. Yeah, the zero day ducks, I just let expire. It'll just expire and you'll get credit for the beak profit. So I got another 840 bucks that'll capture. All right, anywhere between 25 and 30 works, my friends. If we could just stay right here. Yeah, it'll pick up, Trader Sync will pick up expired options. 
uh, the next day once you upload them. So the one thing you got to be aware of is if you let one expire on a Friday, then you got to make sure you go back and include Saturday when you do your upload to pick up the expiration because it actually expires Saturday morning. That one uh, caught me off guard a few times before I realized it. So usually what I did is on every Monday when I did my uploads after the market closed Monday afternoon, I would just go back and capture Saturday. I would just put my date to upload Saturday through Monday. Yeah, because the options always settle. I think it's at like mid midnight central. They actually settle um, technically the day after they expire. Yeah, I already adjusted my stop down on tranche one quite a while ago. When it got down to 545, it's currently trading at four bucks now. Don't need any big push higher here. Need a little few point drop going into the last five minutes. Wooga, your trailer got stopped. My tranche three stops at 825. Spread's currently trading at four bucks. That's quite a ways away. All right, getting a little, getting a little move lower. Two and a half minutes till I exit. I'm gonna move my tranche one to uh, Two, how about 235? See if we can come down and hit that as we approach five minutes till the bell. Tranche three. Up 
Put that at a buck. 35. Nice little move right, right into where we exit. <clears throat> Nothing hitting yet. Got about a little over a minute till I pull the eject. Tranche one trading at 250. My order's at 235. Tranche three, getting close to my order as well. Tapping it. 30 seconds till I get out. And it hit $1.35 on tranche three. All right. Now I got tranche one. It's currently trading at $2.50. My order's at $2.35. See if that can hit before I got to adjust it. Tapping it. There we go. Hit. Nice. All right. So nice winners on tranche one and three. Stopped on tranche two. So let's see. Tranche one got in at 910. Out at 235. Big winner there. Tranche Three in at 525, added a buck 35. Nice winner there. And then obviously tranche two stopped. Got into that one at 525, stopped at 835 and 840. So a few dollar loser on that one. Nice winner overall. Very good. Good way to end the day. All right, my friends. I will catch you soon. Let me see. Live stream. Uh, so tomorrow is the 26th yeah so chad is streaming in the morning with the mighty 90 and runner strategy and then we will be back for zero dte power hour tomorrow all right guys take care have a good night talk to you soon